My name is Barbara Chisire, the Managing Director of AB Consultants. AB Consultants is based in Nairobi and we're an independent market driver seeking to increase the uptake of inclusive insurance and microinsurance across Africa. Some of the opportunities we see for human wildlife conflict insurance is two-pronged. There's the insurance side where insurers have an opportunity to build a business case around increasing their market share, possibly making a profit, um, and in the process protecting lives. On the other side, we see an opportunity for um, innovation um, and, and leveraging other existing insurance schemes that have been launched and, and therefore protecting um, the people who live closest to the wildlife who then have to pay the ultimate price of living next to wildlife. So protecting them um, or rather giving compensation um, for death and injuries for crop, livestock and property damage. I think there will be several challenges. Uh, firstly, um, insurance is um, a business that has largely not been trusted uh, by people, not been used by many people. So when you are layering um, a service that may not necessarily be trusted on top of, a, of an issue that is a conflict-related human wildlife conflict, then we do expect some issues there. How we plan to mitigate that is through consumer education um, and, and some of the ideas we have are on uh, using gamification to teach people about how insurance works. Um, the other challenges we see is around verification of claims and how quickly, because one of the um, findings from our research is that people would prefer timely, timely uh, payments rather than huge payments. So how do you then quickly leverage technology to ensure that you make the payments as fast as possible? So what we are hoping is that the government can um, go ahead to launch a pilot or even the full scheme in Kenya. This will give us an opportunity to learn and to see how learnings from Kenya could be transferred uh, to other countries and other ecosystems. I think a lot of people around the world are waiting to see what happens in Kenya and how we can then um, transfer this knowledge. The other part is we really need to uh, measure the impact of this scheme, you know, whether it actually reduces um, retaliatory killings on wildlife and whether we can actually save lives through providing medical evacuation and, and of course just comfort during that difficult moment um, to families.